Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about something very interesting called a subroutine. A subroutine is uh, similar to a method or function for those who might be familiar with uh, programming languages such as uh, Java, C Sharp, or even C++. On Texas Instrument calculators, at least uh, the one using the Motorola 68000 microprocessor, uh, the subroutine can be uh, external or internal. It is external when you uh, call another program on your calculator uh, within the program you are using. So if I'm uh, if I'm working on a brand new program and uh, I want to include a, a program that I made uh, maybe two years ago that is on my calculator, I can call that program using a, a subroutine. Or I can also make a, a program within another program and call it, and that is called an internal subroutine. It's going to make sense in a little bit. All this is going to make sense in a little bit. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, the app screen and create a new program. We are going to name it accordingly subroutine. So that is going to be SR, enter twice, and uh, we are ready to uh, make a program. So I'm going to come up with a scenario. If you, let's say you want to make a, a trig program, a trigonometry program that is going to display uh, the that is going to ask a user to enter a number and then it's going to display the result in degree and radian approximate mode. Okay, so it's going to display the result in approximate degree mode and then approximate radian mode. So you can actually, that is very basic, so you can uh, do that uh, within your program without needing uh, to create a subroutine. But what if the project is more ambitious? What if uh, you want to ask the user to, uh, to enter 10 different numbers and then you want to do different things with uh, those numbers, you know, and it would be really foolish to uh, put all that in, um, you know, in one man function or one man program. That is where subroutines come handy. Okay. So in this video, I am going to create three different subroutines. The first one is going to, it's going to be pretty much about the scenario I just talked about. So I'm going to make a small trick pro program that is going to ask a user to enter just one number in our, in our case. And then uh, the program is going to take that number and it's going to display the result in approximate degree mode and then uh, it's going to also display the result in approximate radian mode and lastly it's going to display the result in exact degree mode okay if you deal with trigonometry then you would know that uh, they have uh, something called uh, important angles you know those are the angles that most people are you know uh, can easily re uh, recognize recognize uh, 45 degrees, 0, 270, 360, 180, and so on, okay? So the program is going to have three subroutines and uh, one man, uh, pretty much one man function or one man program, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I guess uh, we can uh, get started already. So I always uh, like to put uh, the clear IO here first, okay, clear IO, to make sure my program is always going to start in a nice environment. You know, it's going to clean the page. It's going to be a brand new page. Okay, so to be able to use a subroutine or make use of a subroutine, it must be defined first. So if you don't define a subroutine, then you cannot uh, call it. You cannot call it. So it needs to be defined first. So that's why it's always a good practice. Like uh, in set in other programming languages, it's always a good practice to put your function uh, prototype or function definition at the top of your program. So in this case, we are going to do the same thing. So we are going to define a subroutine. To do that, we are go first going to define uh, or uh, create a variable local we are going to create a local variable and the first subroutine is going to handle the result in degree mode so when the uh, user enter a number I want to display uh, the cosine and sine of, of that number in a degree approximate mode so that's what that's what the first subroutine is going to do okay so local and then I'm going to come up with a nice name for it so I can name that D D E G and uh, sub okay so degree subroutine and i am going to i'm going to go to the next line and uh put uh, the definition here so for that you're going to need to use the define command so define then the name of the subroutine which is uh, deg sub degree sub since this is not going to have any parameters so we are just going to open and close the parentheses like so Put equal and then uh, PRGM, which stands for program, because sub a subroutine is pretty much like a its own program. So it's like a program within a program, you know. So 
obviously we're also going to end the program since it is a program after all and prgm program okay so now anything we are going to be putting in this subroutine is going to be contained within that subroutine so the main function or the main program is really not going to access that subroutine unless we ask it to okay so since that is going to handle the degree mode if you want to deal if you uh, want to display our if we want to we want to display our answer in uh, approximate degree mode then uh, we first need to set the calculator to degree mode because most calculators are often in, in waiting mode which is actually a good thing because especially if you are dealing with that trigonometry then uh, you will know if you remain in degree mode and try to grab certain certain functions then uh, you are not going to get a uh, uh, the right answer for your graph so to change the calculus uh, uh, mod to degree we are going to use uh, uh, F6 there are several ways of doing this you can just type the command if you know what it is okay so it is a set mod command I'm gonna show you how to do it so you go to F6 and uh, you can just uh, out of the past I believe you can go to number three three angle and uh, you're gonna select degree and then it's going to put the command here for you okay again if you know this you can just type it out okay but I think it's easy this way and also we are also going to display these answers in approximate okay because sometimes you know that's what that, that's needed so we are gonna go to f6 and uh, look for that okay approximate and by the way the f6 menu is gonna be a shortcut for pretty much all the mods on the calculator so you can access these mods anytime uh in the pro uh, in the program and uh tell the program to you know to to go to uh to activate this mod and uh run the expression or you know to run a command or calculation based on those uh, uh based on those mod settings so we are going to select approximate here okay so what this does when we call this up uh, uh subroutine then um the program or yeah the program is gonna change the uh, angle to degree and uh, the uh, the uh, answer to approximate pretty much so now we want to display a message to acknowledge that uh, this is indeed uh, the uh, degree subroutine so we're just gonna put a display statement that is gonna say uh, degree subroutine very simple very basic subroutine okay then next you are going to uh, we are going to tell the program to display uh, cosine of that so we are using another display statement again you can use the output statement I already made a video about that but uh, that is going to take some time so I don't want this video to be one hour long so I'm just gonna keep everything short and simple so first cosine then okay then num So everything is capitalized that's not a big deal this uh it's not case it's not a case sensitive language so you can uh, capitalize or not it doesn't matter and uh second line or the second display statement is going to display cosine and then uh num num okay so that is not correct i need to specify i can't just display num because if i just display num it's just going to display the number we enter it's not going to return the cosine of that number so i'm going to do cosine of that number here and here I'm gonna do sign of that number okay so now I am going to add another command called pass command what this can do is instead of displaying all the because if I call this uh, 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 if I call this uh, this subroutine in my main program what happens the program is gonna run when, whenever uh, the subroutine uh, finishes uh, running or, exec or executing all these commands then it's just gonna come back to the main program automatically and then the main program is gonna do something else that's why I wanna pause I wanna add a pause command here so when uh, the line the last line finishes executing or finish is, is done executing then uh, the program is going to stop and ask me to press enter or you know the program is just gonna pause until I press enter or, or escape so that's why the pause command is uh, useful okay so that's it for that subroutine so I am going to pause the video and uh, add the uh, other two subroutine just like this one is going to be the same thing except for uh, the 
degree mod here is going to be a radian instead of degree and i'm also going to change the first display statement here to show degree so that's pretty much it you know obviously i'm also gonna use a different name for it okay so i'm gonna do that for the second one but uh, first i need to add a comment so to add a comment just press a second key x and everything you are going to put next is going to be coming out so i'm gonna put a comment and a second key t to make this uh, more uh, visible when i'm uh, looking for it and i'm just going to put a, a radian subroutine so i know what to look for if i need to do any change Radian subroutine okay now i'm gonna pause the video and put the gradient subroutine here okay so as you can see uh everything looks good so i decided to name that uh rad sub which is uh short for radian subroutine and uh change the mod back to radian and uh we're also going to display that answer or uh, those answers in approximate so everything looks good and it's going to display a uh, radian subroutine just to acknowledge that we are indeed uh, in uh uh using the radian subroutine so that's it for that one also add uh, a pause commander so the last one is going to be the exact mode so the exact mode is going to display the solutions in exact form so that comes handy when you are using uh uh important angles such as uh, 45 a 60 90s and stuff so i'm gonna pause the video and do that as well okay so ev everything is pretty much done at this point uh, for the most part so i decided to call the exact subroutine ex sub and uh change the angle back to degree because you won't be able to get uh, any uh you know uh, any nice looking uh, answer if you are in radian such as 45 degree it's not going to work and uh we also changed the mod from approximate to exact as you can see here and the next line is going to display uh the name of the subroutine exact subroutine and uh the last two lines or should I say the last, uh, uh, the last three lines? So the first one is going to display the uh, cosine of our number and sine of our number in, ex in exact form. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the subroutine. So we define in total three sub three subroutines, and as you can see, we have our main uh, subroutine, not our main sub our main program all the way over here. Let's see. So this is our main program. We haven't done. We haven't done anything to our main program just yet so we're gonna add the uh input statement here let's see did we even create uh let's see i don't even know if i put a i just want to make sure okay so i just decided to give a num to these variables i should have actually done that in the main i mean i should have started with main function first because i'm pretty sure some of you might get confused but uh everything is going to make sense okay so this is my main program as you can see this is the end of the subroutine and last uh end program the uh, last program here the last statement here that says end program that's going to be the end of my main program so all the other end program you see are contained within my main program so all those are just subroutines okay and uh the subroutines don't really have uh, any access to my main program if i don't I'm, and uh yeah vice versa and uh, my main program really does not have uh any access of, over my subroutine uh unless it is unless it is calling them you know my main program cannot really do any change to the subroutine okay like uh, one example would be like label if i cannot use a label uh in the subroutine and tell my main program to go and use a go to statement from from my main program to go to that label it's not, it doesn't work that way okay the label uh, and go to statement work in conjunction within uh, the program they are within. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, let's uh, uh, get started with our main program. So the main program is going to ask the user to enter a number. Okay. Enter a number. Uh, it's not going to be fancy, but at least let's capitalize the E. <laughs> enter a number. Okay. And that is going to be stored obviously in a variable called num 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 and you probably seen that uh, some of my variables are capitalized some are not that's uh, that's not that doesn't mean anything you know it's not gonna affect the pro the, uh, the, pro the program at all so that is fine because it's not case sensitive but I don't advise you know you stick to you know you have uh, your own uh, style so just don't don't go all over the place so then 
if that happens, it's going to call those programs. When I mean, not if that happens, because that is definitely going to happen. So when the user enters a number, then uh, the program is going to, I'm going to call the, these uh, uh, these subroutines. And again, it does matter. The order doesn't matter. You know, I can just call any of them. You know, I can start calling the last one if I wanted to or the first one. But, uh, uh, you know, the only thing that matters is, because, is that uh, the subroutines are being defined. Okay, they are being defined before the main program. So let's just uh, call the first one, dex sub, close it. And second, this is how you would call it. You would call it the same way you would launch your program from the home screen, pretty much. And the second one is going to be rad sub. And the last one is going to be ex uh, sub, I think. And uh, that is it. You know, that's it for subroutine pretty much. So I'm going to uh, go and launch this program and uh, we're probably going to do some adjustment if there need, need, needs to be. So SR. Okay, so let's put our first number. Let's put 45. Enter. Okay. So as you can see, it says uh, degree subroutine. So that is exact. And then it, it shows our cosine of that number of 45 is that. And the sign of that number okay and now it is displaying a radian subroutine cosine and sine okay if you press enter again it's gonna go to the bottom and uh, display the exact subroutine so square over 2 cosine of our angle 45 is square over 2 over 2 and sine is square over 2 over 2 okay so I guess uh, that's it for this video. Uh, we don't really need to do any adjustment. You know, everything is okay. No syntax error, no nothing. So if you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section. And uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, uh, I think uh, I'm out. Okay, so before starting the video, I just thought of something. Remember when I told you uh, um, defining the subroutines before uh, you can use them? So let me show you how that works. So let's just go back to the program. I'm going to press a uh, uh, second key, app. And um, let's just uh, copy the very last one because that is uh, easy of access. That is close to the bottom. So all these subroutines were defined before, uh, you know, before I could call them, before uh, even uh, touching the main uh, program. So I'm just going to copy the, okay, <laughs> I went too fast. I'm just going to copy the last one here, which is the exact mode. I'm going to press shift and the direction key. Okay, I'm just going to cut, cut it. And uh, if I paste it here at the very bottom, it is still within the main program, but let's see if it's going to run. It's not going to run. Uh, 45, enter, enter, one more time. And it says program not found. That is because the definition of that subroutine came after he was called. So that is not going to work, okay? You cannot call a subroutine before uh, its definition. And as you can see, we are trying to call that subroutine here, you know, exact subroutine. We're trying to call it and then define it afterward. That does not work. So it needs to be defined first and then you can call it. Okay, so if I uh, select the whole thing, cut it. If I were to place it here, you know, uh, over here, uh, remember, the last uh, uh, calling is for that subroutine. If I paste it here, then our program should uh, should run just fine. Let's uh, exit out of here. Launch it. Uh, let's try a different number. <laughs> let's put on uh, 90. As you can see, it ran just fine. So that's how you uh, pretty much uh, use subroutines. Again, some of you might have uh, other questions, but uh, feel free to leave your questions. And uh, yeah, uh, with that being said, that's it for this video.